Today is December 6th, a pastor saying to us, be inspired by his hope. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Romans chapter 5, verse 5. And hope make it not ashamed, because the love of God is shared and brought in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. The Bible shows us that hope is one of the principles that exist in the world to come. Hope is the ability to expect and to project into the future. Jesus demonstrated hope in his beautiful and inspiring prayer in John chapter 17. As he committed his disciples into the Father's hand, he said, Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. John chapter 17 verse 20. It's amazing how Jesus trusted the Father with his hopes for the future of his disciples and those who would believe in him through their witness. He not only had faith, but hope as well. He looked to the Father with hope. What an inspiration. There's another instance where he demonstrated such great hope. That was when he prayed with great anguish and agony of soul in the Garden of Gethsemane, such that sweat came out of his body like great drops of blood. But I want you to notice the content of his prayers. The Bible says he prayed, O my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. Matthew chapter 26, verse 39. Jesus was a man of faith, but in this context, he was hopeful. He endured the cross because of the outcome of his hope. He demonstrated hope where he hung on the cross, hope even in death. This is the Christ that Paul referred to when he announced, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Now you are in him, and can therefore be hopeful in the Father as he was, even in the face of death. Can you be hopeful in prayer? that those who openly oppose Christ can truly believe and turn their hearts to him like Saul of Tarsus and receive salvation for their souls by the power of the Holy Ghost. Learn the value of hope. The word declares that hope doesn't disappoint because of God's love in our hearts. Romans chapter 5 verse 5. Be inspired by his hope. That hope, the Bible says, is an anchor for the soul that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast. Hebrews chapter 6, verses 18 to 19. Hallelujah. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, through your word, I'm hopeful that my victories, triumphs, and accomplishment are abiding. I pray for souls around the world, that great grace be directed towards them, and that the work of salvation be wrought in their lives as they hear the gospel. To the praise and glory of your name. Hallelujah. For further study, please read Romans chapter 4, verse 18. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 19 of the Amplified Classic, and Psalm chapter 71, verse 14. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read 3 John and Daniel chapter 7 to 8. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read John chapter 18, verses 10 to 18, and 2 Chronicles chapters 13 to 14. Rhapsody of reality.